Hi again, everybody. It's Miss Amy coming to you live from my garden. Today, Miss Amy wanted to talk to you about consequences. And what a consequence means is when we do something or what we don't do, what the outcome of that is or what the result of that is. And Miss Amy would love to read you a story that I love because it has two things in it that I love. Well, three. It has donuts, it has panda bears, and it has the word please. Three things that Miss Amy loves. So what this story is really about is the consequence of not saying please and then what happens when we do say please. And it is called Please Mr. Panda. And he's so cute. I love his face. Mr. Panda says, would you like a donut? And the penguin says, give me the pink one. No, you cannot have a donut. I changed my mind. The panda's walking away. What does that penguin look like to you? He looks pretty disappointed to me. Mr. Panda says to this cute little skunk, would you like a donut? The skunk says, I want the blue one and the yellow one. Hmm, there's Mr. Panda walking away again. He says, no, you cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. And this little skunk looks a lot like the penguin looked on the last page. He looks disappointed. Would you like a donut? No, go away. Wow, Miss Amy can certainly think of a nicer way that that could have been said, like, no thank you, or I appreciate you offering, but no, I don't need a donut right now. Wow, look at how little the panda is up here and how huge and beautiful this whale is. Mr. Panda yells down from the boat, would you like a donut? The whale says, I want them all. Then bring me some more. Wow. The panda yells down, no. You cannot have a donut. I changed my mind and he's rowing away from the whale. <sighs> what does Panda's face look like to you? He looks kind of exasperated and frustrated to Miss Amy. He said, would anyone else like a donut? He's trying to find somebody to take his donut. This cute little lemur says, hello, may I have a donut? There's the lemur upside down. He just kind of popped his little head into the picture. And the panda looks a little surprised. I'm sorry, technical difficulties. <laughs> the lemur says upside down, Please, Mr. Panda, that's the magic word, isn't it? And see, he says it with a smile on his face. Look how happy he is. And the best word, please. Mr. Panda says, you can have them all. <gasps> the lemur's so excited. He says, thank you very much. He's clapping its little claws together. He says, I love donuts. Who doesn't love donuts? You're welcome, Mr. Panda said. I do not like donuts. We found one. That's the only person or thing I've ever heard say they don't love donuts. Look what the lemur did. He's got them on his tail. He's got a little donut hat on. He's so happy. This is the best page. 
Look at the lemur there. Look at his belly. He's sleeping. He ate too many donuts. He's got a big full belly, but he looks pretty happy. And the reason the lemur was happy at the end of the story was because he said, please. He asked the correct way instead of saying, give me the blue one and the yellow one, or give me them all and then I want some more, or go away. He asked nicely. And that's the most important thing we can do. So when we're polite and we're kind, the consequence of that is usually that we get something that we like or that we want. When we don't say please and thank you, a lot of times the consequence is that we do not get what we like or we want. So it's something we have to work on every day. Miss Amy has to work on it too. So you all work on it every day, your pleases and thank yous with your family, your friends, your teachers, with a person at a store when you're checking out with someone who holds the door for you and you say thank you. It's so important in this world for us to be kind and be polite, think of others. And one of the best ways we can do that is with our pleases and thank yous. So we're all gonna practice Miss Amy too. Until next time, have a great evening.